today I want to talk about an area of anatomy called the cannon bomb. So the cannon bomb is an area in your abdomen, upper left hand corner, uh, that is along around your large intestine. So where your large intestine comes across your transverse colon and then your descending colon. That area is a transition zone. It's a transition zone where the nerve innervation is between the vagus nerve and then the uh, sacral part of the parasympathetics take over the pelvic splanchnic nerves on that descending portion of the uh, intestine. So that transition zone is a really powerful area from the nervous system to help create balance and stimulate a rest digest response, right? Balance in the autonomic nervous system. So that sympathetic and parasympathetic relationship. It also is a great area transition zone for circulation. It's where the superior mesenteric artery and the inferior mesenteric artery, they actually anastomose in the area and come together. So there's a recurrent blood flow in that area. You can actually feel a restriction pretty easily through the skin. That's why I think it's an easy spot to teach on people. Um, so to find it, you're going to start at the xiphoid process, slide your fingers down the xiphoid and you'll feel like a little shelf. Some, some of you, the shelf might be higher than others. That first shelf is the pyloric part of the bottom of your stomach, beginning of your small intestines. Go over that, you'll go into a little divot and then you'll find sort of another little shelf and that is your transverse colon and you can, you'll feel it. It's pretty easy to feel. You'll wrap your fingers right around it. So that transverse colon, you can walk along to the left side and you'll feel an area where the skin gets a little bit denser and harder. You'll feel more of that skin stretch. That's that area, that's that cannon bomb area there. And so you want to, you can do a skin lift technique where you take the skin and you sort of pull it apart or bring it together, twist it, roll it, sort of anything you like. I like to go in the direction of ease. So that would be up for me. And then I feel it, I feel it, as soon as I bring it in the direction of ease, I feel it sort of wanting to stretch. And so tubes love to be stretched, so I'm going to stretch those guys out. You can always add in rotation with this. This intestines love rotation and side bending. The other thing you can do if you don't feel comfortable with skin lift is use the gorgeous ball. So this gorgeous ball on the skin, you can even use it to find the area that's most restricted. And it's almost always going to be that cannon bomb area. So once I find that restriction, I'm going to grab onto it with the texture of the cortisol ball and even add a twist. You can do some good breathing here and then follow it as it wants to take you in rotation, thigh bending. This is when you sort of have a tune into your interoception and feel where the body wants to go. And like I said, if you don't, if you're not very good at tuning in, just take it into rotation and side bending and see how this feeling of the skin stretch responds to it. You can do it a few times. I like to do it in sitting so that you have that ability to go rotate into three dimensions, but you can always do it on the floor. Make sure you get that spot when you're doing the rest of your cordless ball work. Can use a cup if you're a practitioner or if you just have cups at home and want to use the cup in that area too just be gentle i would do a dynamic moving cup in that spot and see how it goes like i said it's a really powerful spot to do for nervous system balance and circulation and um just be sure before you do it it's always good to do a check-in so whether it's a standing body scan or a seated body scan which i have on my soundcloud if you need support there or just a range of motion check like arms overhead or bending over into flexion or take doing a deep squat do a check-in find that cannon bomb area do the treatment either the skin lift or the quarters ball with movement and then recheck your check-ins so a body scan a or a range of motion check give it a try and let me know what you think